Wildlife Australia run a beach nesting birds project and it's been running since 2006. Our main focus has been on the hooded plover which is based in southern Australia and that's mainly because it's the most threatened of these species because it's the most dependent on ocean beaches. One of the reasons why this group of birds is so threatened is because they have really highly camouflaged eggs and chicks and they lay the eggs directly on the sand and most people when they come to the beach wouldn't have a clue that they might actually step on a nest. Disturbance is a huge issue. If you're too close to them, the chicks aren't out feeding or the birds aren't sitting on their eggs. There are a lot of natural predators like birds of prey, ravens, silver gold. And then you've got foxes, cats, rats and off-leash dogs added to the mix and they just haven't evolved with them and don't have the strategies to cope. I don't think the public like to think that their dog would, would, would deliberately harm the chicks and we try and reinforce that but it's more about the pattern of behaviour of the dog that's seen by the birds. Essentially we're working really hard to improve the breeding success of these birds so their numbers can continue to sustain themselves into the future. Um, we're involving all the um, coastal communities as volunteers who get out and watch the birds find the nests and then if they're in a um, vulnerable spot we'll fence and protect those nesting sites. They're really worth protecting because one, they really represent a healthy coast, a healthy beach ecosystem. If they fall out of the system, you know essentially that that beach no longer represents habitat. Often people are worried and about their environment, about where they live and are really keen to do something but don't know how to step in, how to get in there to actually make a difference. And this program has made me feel very welcome and made me feel very part of a much bigger picture. Our volunteers are always welcome and the way to find out about the project is to visit birdlife.org.au. Eventually you'll find your way to people like us on the beach and we're mm. here to help. And in fact, you know, you'll find it very rewarding if you do come along because we'll mentor you. You're not on your own, we're a team and I think you'll have a lot of fun doing it. One of the benefits that I think I have got out of working with the Beach Nesting Bird Program is the feeling that what I am doing is part of a bigger picture and people are noticing and people are caring. This morning there was a little text from one of our wardens wardening the three chicks at the estuary this morning to say that uh, they'd observed the two of the chicks flying a little, two, about, a about a metre. and. It was such a moment for that person that they had to text to tell us. Another major aspect of the program is working with land managers like park rangers, local councils and environment departments. So we work to provide the right information on and how to go about protecting the birds. Also training with our volunteers and our local land managers so that when they're out on the beach and they're monitoring the birds, they're going to be doing this in a really safe way for them and for the birds. We carry out a fair bit of research on the project, so there are a lot of questions we still need to answer on how to get it right, how to protect them properly, so we work closely with universities. We also work with BirdLife Australia banders, so when we have chicks on the beach we can get them down to band the chicks, uh, and the volunteers are often uh, will be invited along to come and actually get a chance to hold a bird in the hand. We've really boosted their breeding success. We've taken it from as low as 0 to 5% and it's just radically increased to around 50%, which is what we're hoping for. A big part of this program is education. So we go into local schools in coastal areas to educate the kids about their locally threatened birds and so that they grow up knowing exactly what to look out for and to naturally share the beach with them. Everyone that uses the beach in Australia can really play a part in this project. So if you go to the local beach, it's all about just being vigilant and aware, looking out for signs that might say that that beach is actually where some threatened birds are found and giving them that bit of space if you see a fenced nesting site. So it's really about just learning how to share the beach. The Beach Nesting Birds Education Program has had a great impact on coastal communities. So we're really seeing changes in behaviour on the beach and people now doing the right thing for the birds. When we go to markets, people now have questions to ask about hooded plovers. Uh, the children know about them. We see that children are actually instructing parents about keeping their dogs on leave. Nine years ago, before BirdLife Australia started this project, these birds were on a real path towards extinction. But by getting all the local coastal communities involved and park rangers, 
We've really been able to turn it around and see tangible results almost immediately. It's a real positive story and it's quite rare in the conservation space. The word for the hood is uh, looking good and that's really thanks to the Beach Nesting Bird Program being run by BirdLife Australia.